My Major Garrett reports. Hail to the chief, that was all that was missing from Democratic presidential frontrunner Hillary Clinton's return to her alma mater, Wellesley College, a feminist springboard, she said, that aimed her at the biggest glass ceiling of American politics. In so many ways, this all-women's college prepared me to compete in the all-boys club of presidential politics. The rapturous crowd, emblematic of Clinton's pull among women of her generation and this one. To tie the two together, Clinton spun a tale of anti-war alienation then and now. We were uneasy about our future, uncertain about America's role in the world, and unwilling to trust a government that didn't share our values. Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? Clinton attended Wellesley in the late 60s. In 1968, she stuffed envelopes for anti-war Democrat Eugene McCarthy in neighboring New Hampshire. He was running for president on a platform of ending the Vietnam War. I am running for president in part on a platform to end the war in Iraq. A year later, in her 1969 commencement address, Clinton lamented the absence of integrity in political life and offered this definition. Integrity, the courage to be whole, to try to mold an entire person in this particular context, living in relation to one another in the full poetry of existence.